Okorocha begged me to lie to EFCC. Stanley Ewariaoko said, The owner of Zigrit International Company Limited, Mr. Stanley Ewariaoko, has claimed that former Imo State Governor Rochas Okorocha begged him to make false contract claims before the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, EFCC. He stated this on Monday when he appeared before Judicial Commission of Inquiry on contracts set up by the Imo State government. Ewere Aoku gave a graphic account of how the former governor not only prompted him to lie to the EFCC, but also asked him to coach others on how to lie to the anti-graft agency. Answering questions from the witness box, Emory Aoku said, when the EFCC invited my company to come to the office in Enugu, the former governor of Imo State, Senator Rochas Okorocha, begged me to inform EFCC that the great actually did all the contracts listed against its name. He said he told the lie to defend Okorocha, adding that when I returned from Enugu, the governor thanked me for a job well done. He then directed me to coach other contractors on how to tell the EFCC lies. He said currently, owing to the lie that the officials of the Federal Inland Revenue Service, FIRS, were after him for a hundred million that accrued from the Uj transaction in the company's account. I have been contesting this tax and explaining to them, FIRS, that I only shared money to specific persons and companies and that I never executed any contract, he said. Ewerenko acknowledged that his action was fraudulent, but insisted that he did them because Okorocha directed him to do so. The great owner added, I am now planning to go back to EFCC to correct all the lies I told them. My evidence before this commission contradicts what I told the EFCC. I am afraid of what EFCC will do to me but I will still go and tell them the truth in order to be free from this burden. On why he consented to the fraud, he said he was under real pressure from Okorocha. He said he was no longer in talking terms with Okorocha since I started revealing what actually happened to this commission. After the disgrace owner finished giving his evidence, the Commission Chairman Justice Benjamin Iheka closed inquiry from him. He, however, said that Ewerenko was not discharged of the subpoena on him until after Principal Secretary to the former Governor, Dr. Pascal Obi, had been recalled to react to the testimonies of this witness. Accordingly, inquiry from this witness is hereby adjoined to June 26, 2020 on a date the said principal secretary is expected to be recalled, Justice Iheka added. Thank you for listening to this news. Viewers, this is not a new story. This is not just um, a new story. It is clear right from the very um, time, right from the very time um, Okorocha um, assumed office of governorship, that the the state is is um, is 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 experiencing uh, meltdown 
meltdown of financial matters. The moment Okrocha assumed office, the department started experiencing leakages. Leakages. Departments that used to be up to date started experiencing lapses. Unknown to the uh, to the people of Imo State that it was as a result of the huge um, the huge embezzlement that is being carried out by the by the state governor Richard Okorocha. I was telling people um, in, in my past videos concerning um, Rochas Okorocha's uh, Okorocha that Rochas Okorocha uh, administration um, only 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 um, favored his own families and relatives. His administration was an administration for his family. His family run the administration. They run the state. Both Rochas Okrocha and his in-law, Uche, both of them run the state. They manage the state till the period Okrocha's tenure expired. Okrocha used the, his, his administration to enrich all members of his family starting from his own immediate family down to um down to uh, uh his in-laws his children his great grandchildren his great grand grandchildren in fact he made sure he distributed the wealth down to his fifth to sixth generations you can imagine this is what Richard Okorocha has been waiting for. That is to let you know that he's coming to power. His struggle to come into power was to siphon and embezzle. I was saying it before that Richard Okorocha wasn't, uh, wasn't this um, rich. As this, not until he assumed the the the, 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 the office of, of of a governor. Not until he assumed the office of a governor. You can imagine. See how he influenced this this um, innocent entrepreneur to lie for him. See how if forced and pushed this innocent entrepreneur that was actually doing well in his business to lie on his behalf and now nemesis is catching up with him that is why he has to come up and confess you can imagine you can imagine Gradually, gradually, they will all be exposed. I've said it. They will all be exposed. Okorocha and his alias, his, his alias, his criminal alias will all be exposed. It's just a question of time. I expect the EFCC as soon as this confession is made, EFCC should not take any, they should not waste any minutes with immediate effect. A culture should be, should be getting rid of and all his assets should be freezed, both his accounts. These are the people that sucked Imo State dry. They made the common citizens the common immolites to 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 remain to remain in a perpetual perpetual uh, uh perpetual poverty viewers
what is your own contribution to what has just been read? Please, your issue and contributions are of great importance to this matter. Don't forget to leave them behind. Click on the subscription buttons as well as bell button to receive more updates. Thank you.